Okay, so as a change, a little bit of a change for everybody who's been hungry for that Call of Duty gameplay, because I know you've all been absolutely pounding my door down and begging me, please upload Call of Duty, it's the greatest thing ever, and we need our fix. <laughs> oh, I can't even finish that sentence, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm going to put a bit of Call of Duty gameplay up, a little bit of Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now, I did want to talk about Call of Duty a little bit, because obviously I've moved away from Infinite Warfare. I don't enjoy it, I'm not saying it's completely completely horrific and the worst thing ever because it obviously isn't it's it's a game it's playable it's uh, certainly better than what was produced say about 20 years ago but you know what we come to expect from a game it's just not delivering what we need and some people still like it some people don't the surprising thing about call of duty as it stands at the moment is that scarily it is actually on a massive decline such a big decline i know i've talked about oh is call of duty dead in the past but now i'm feeling that he's on the way to being very much dead so much so that after a month of infinite warfare being released now they're talking about call of duty 2017 and saying definitely going to be boots on the ground this year sledgehammer going to bring it and they're going to bring it back to uh to being a ground-based game i don't know about that you know possibly i would like to think maybe it is as I said before, I haven't finished with Call of Duty, not by a long shot. I'm just enjoying other things at the moment. Um, Call of Duty is always nice to go back to and uh, and sort of get my fix. But I feel that the big channels, I'm going to talk about Ali A as the prime example. A lot of these channels that all these, you know, all these game developers have used as almost their free advertising. Well, no, not necessarily free advertising. You know, it's, it's good advertising, but it's not free. It's uh, talk about this game and we'll give you some card points. We'll give you some card points to use on you know supply drops so that you can make more videos to open them and it is more free advertising so therefore everything we give to you that is a, a sort of perk of the job essentially a, like a bonus for uh, for making your content we will get back anyway because people will watch your videos of you opening up supply drops looking really super excited about them and then say oh, look how super excited he is i want to be that super excited I want to go and get some supply drops, but I don't have a pot to piss in. So, um, oh God, Dad's left his wallet and he's fell asleep drunk upstairs. If I just slip out his credit card and punch in these few digits and Dad will be none the wiser because he got so drunk he will just think that he spent it on strippers. But that is how they make their revenue. That is how their advertising gets out there. That's what they did with Black Ops 3. And it was actually very successful. The whole supply drop scheme with Black Ops 3 was a massive... It caused a massive uproar. But the more people talked about it, that it was a really big part of the whole business sector of the Black Ops 3 game. So people like Ali A and the like would make money from their videos, a lot of money from their videos, they would gain a lot of subscribers from doing these kind of videos and people retweeting out and their channels are absolutely booming and they're now at like, you know, 6 million subscribers or whatever they're at. The sky is the absolute limit. Black Ops 3 and Activision are sitting there rubbing their hands together saying, God, all it costs us is a few cod points and flying them out to some venue with a cheap plane ticket and putting them up for a couple of days so they can go back and tell everybody how great this is because basically it's, it's just cheap advertisement to 6 million, 10 million, 12 million people they get that money back now Ali A has actually come forward and said and I quote in a video a bad year for YouTube a bad call of duty you know he's that's those were his words a bad call of duty uh, when he was talking about YouTube how tits up YouTube is going at the moment with people losing views and just not being the same place as it was when we all kind of started and obviously he said the words about Call of Duty and he did say that he didn't enjoy this Call of Duty. Now that is a massive kick in the balls for Activision and Infinity Ward because that is one of their prime advertisers. I don't really know about the rest of them because I don't watch T Martin, I don't watch all these guys. I only came across this Alio video because somebody told me about it and I went to watch it out of courtesy. I most certainly didn't subscribe, I just wanted to see it for myself and it was true. So that is a really scary prospect for Call of Duty and I do think more than than ever more than ever and especially with the way they won't show these figures of who's playing online because they obviously want to keep it cloak and dagger really you know it's all very secretive don't let everybody know how bad we are doing you don't need to see the figures online you've only got to go through your favorite youtube channels to see how many people are not playing infinite warfare it's a scary thing Actually, no, it's not a scary thing. A scary thing is being trapped in a room with a thousand tarantulas. That's a scary thing. Infinite Warfare doing very badly was an obvious thing. It was an obvious thing from the, you know, reveal trailer. You don't get that many dislikes on a gaming trailer being the most disliked game in history. Uh, sorry, gaming trailer in history. You don't get that many just from bandwagon jumping. I'm sorry. 
People generally, not everybody, but most people have their own minds, they have their own heart, they know what they want. And what people saw, people initially said, do you know what, I put up with this for two years, it was fine then, but I don't want another year of it, and not only that, it doesn't look good enough to me. People initially put that dislike down because they thought they weren't going to like it. And then the finished product is there. Everybody's obviously picked up on all the very similar things. You know, people have picked up on all these different problems and it just builds into one big melting pot and boils over into one big issue that spreads like wildfire. And people say, no, I'm not buying the game. Oh, is it that bad? I'm glad I didn't buy it. I will proceed to carry on in the future and never to buy another game from them again. So, like I say, and I've said it a million times before, I don't think Call of Duty is dead, but my goodness me. If you put your dick in the snake pit, don't be surprised if you feel a little pinch on the end of it. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love. Apocalypse done.